So for a short film I'm making, I had a scene where I pretty much have a camera that is floating in the air. So what I did was I filmed that in front of a green screen and then I used this shot that I got while on set as the background. And that was the result right here. And I mean, this looks good, but the thing is the other shots had camera movement and I needed to add some camera shake to that scene to make it look more natural. Now I could just add like some digital camera shake, but I really wanted to make it feel real. So I chose another technique to make it feel more authentic. So what I did was I got this shot that I actually filmed handheld and you can see it has some nice camera shake to it. So I brought this shot into hit film. You can do that in After Effects also or any other programs that can do tracking. So I pretty much tracked the camera movement of that shot. And then I brought the tracking data into my composite shot with the phone and the, and the background. And if, you, if I move it right here, nothing is really happening yet because I haven't yet parented the tracking data to the camera. So if I parent that tracking data to the camera, then it actually moves like the camera would actually move if I was holding it with my hand. So the result goes from this, which is the before, to something that looks more natural like this because that's actual camera movement that we brought in from that other shot instead of simply adding a digital shake on there. So to recap, get a shot that's moving, track it, and then get the tracking data and parent it to your camera. And the result you get is this, a natural looking handheld shot. Thanks a lot for watching. If you like this video, subscribe. And also be sure to check out rodipolis.com for some cool stock footage and sound effects for all your filmmaking needs. Thank you.